Okay, it's uh, summer. I've got one day left of my vacation to take care of this. You can see the boat here, um, the tack, and I have this lovely tarp I just picked up from the Lowe's. I'm going to uh, skin it as fast as I can with the tarp and get this done so I can try and put it in the water tomorrow. And that's it. All right. Okay, I just did the uh, the main part of the sewing, or finished it, the, half, the front half last night and back half today. Um, you can see it's a very fat stitch. You can see I got one stitch every few inches, which on, you know, other boat that I made and other boats I'll make, it's, uh, you know, it's like a half inch. And... Yeah, so it's really, really loosely done. It's real, come on, focus. Um, you can see I got all this huge bunching here. But, uh, you know, that's fine. Probably won't use this more than a few times, so it's all right. Just wanted to get uh, it done together. So, and just so you can see how the ends come together, if you don't watch my other videos or kudzu craft videos is sewed so, so around here and then came back up to the top and then sewed it through sewed it through there and just you know finished it off standard needle stuff wow I'm all focus anyway so now next step is I'm not gonna probably film at all is to take this part that I trimmed off I'm going to sew from the middle here out to the to one end and then to the other using a curved needle. This curved needle right here. Um, have it, uh, and what you do is you just do a little running, just roll this down here so that it's nice and neat. And then you just stitch around it in a spiral pattern as you go. Um, and that just finishes it off and adds a little bit of strength, I guess. Uh, and then I got to finish it the spray rubber here which is not the kind that I've used before but this a rust-oleum leak seal and so I'm going to spray that to cover all these pole holes that are in it and that's it christened her mermaid because when she's on the car she flexes like this looks like a mermaid got big old hips and no no ends on it um this is the guadalupe river and yeah so you can see the boat stitched up i got the rubber sprayed on onto it some i ran out of my can but whatever and i have my beautiful cockpit cut out i was gonna do a combing but i decided i don't care so I just have a hole and uh, so now I'm going to get in it the first time and see how it how it goes. Um, actually I'm going to take my shoes off. Whoa. Um, I don't, there's, there's a whole lot of sticks and everything in this river so I have diminishing confidence in its ability to handle sticks as this is just your standard Home Depot Lowe's type tarp. Um, and yeah, so I don't see any water pooling in it yet, <laughs> but these things do keep water out, right? So, um, it's just been in the water a couple minutes, but anyway, so I'm going to try give it a shot and see how it goes. And, uh, yeah.
skin is really loose compared to my other one boat, which most, some of you have seen. If not, you need to get over to waterlightkayaks.com and go see my good boat. <laughs> and the skin's really tight. This, I feel like I'm sitting on a waterbed because it's really soft. All right, let's see how this goes here. Yeah, watch out for the tree. Oh yeah, it's really stable, it just sits there. There's no, um, because it's so soft, it just sits there, it doesn't uh, want to twist it off. It looks really good. What's that? It looks really good. Yeah? Is it flat on both ends? Yeah, it's you very flat. Water? What? The back end seems pretty high, but that's probably just the air inside. It's light, so. Yeah, here are you. Okay. Yeah, it feels like a kayak. It feels like a soft, inflatable raft kayak. <laughs> it's just so loose underneath. It's like it's like really like sitting on a waterbed. Well, there you go. Everybody that wanted to see it, here it is. It's done. so warm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, um, okay, we did this test run, and it did pretty good. Um, actually better than I thought it was kind of seeing how floppy it was on the car. Um, as you can see in the video, it sits pretty flat, and it goes straight where I point it, um, and the only, uh, issue is it's just so it's a lot of noise and, and it slows you down a lot because of all the waves in it and the, the fact that it, the skin is loose um but it uh but yeah it didn't it, it's not tippy at all because the, the fabric is so flexy inside of the frames um if it was hard then it would be much tippier in this shape um it's also difficult because i'm sitting right on this bar i need to put some kind of seat or pad or something there um but yeah like uh, I'll keep it 
and use it maybe next vacation.